This movie is intended to help you get started with Live. Rather than covering everything Live can do, we'll introduce some basic terms and walk you through Live's working environment. The Arrangement View is Live's multi-track recording and editing environment. If you've used any other multi-track recording software before, this view probably looks very familiar. Time is represented horizontally, while tracks are stacked vertically. To listen to the arrangement, press your computer keyboard's spacebar. You can always use the spacebar to toggle play and stop. If the follow button is activated, the arrangement will scroll as the music plays. To move the view backward or forward, or to zoom in and out, grab the beat time ruler with the mouse and drag left, right, up, or down. Vertical mouse movements in the arrangement view zoom in and out. Horizontal movements scroll left and right. This works on any beat time ruler in any of Live's views. In addition to the familiar timeline view in the arrangement, Live offers another way of working, known as Session View. To switch to this view, press the Tab key on your computer keyboard. Tab always toggles between the session and arrangement. Session View offers an improvisational approach to music making, allowing you to record, play, and combine ideas on the fly. This tool is equally useful for songwriting, jamming alone or with other musicians, and DJing. Your transitions always remain locked to musical time, even during tempo and groove changes. Let's look at how music is organized in the Session View. The Session View's horizontal rows are called scenes. In the demo song used in this movie, every scene represents a discrete song section. We've called these A, B, and B2. Click on the triangular Scene Launch button on the right-hand side of the top scene. The A scene will begin to play. This will keep playing until we launch another scene. Now try launching the B and B2 scenes to move through the song sections. We can also rearrange the song parts on the fly by launching scenes in any order. Each scene is made up of smaller parts called clips. Clips are simply containers for audio or MIDI data and allow you to take nonlinear composition one step further by deviating from scenes and trying variations. For example, first launch scene A once more. Now we'll combine a bass line from another song part with the A clips. Click on the Clip Launch button of the bass clip in the B scene. Now you can try combining different clips from different song parts. Any clip or scene you launch will stay in sync with the tempo of the set. And by default, all clips start only on the next downbeat after they're triggered. Notice that launching a clip stops playback of the clip that was previously playing in the same column. The vertical columns in the session view represent tracks, and a track can only play one clip at a time. Therefore, one typically puts variations of a clip in the same track. If you want to stop a clip without causing another one to start, you can use any Clip Stop button from the same track. These square buttons appear by default in all empty clip slots. There are some cases though, like in the Pad, Short Bright, and Warm EP tracks, where there are empty clip slots without stop buttons. Rest assured, there is always a Clip Stop button at the bottom of every track, just above the Session Mixer. Clips are the basic musical building blocks in Live. Now that we know how to launch them and stop them, it's time to see what they're made of. In Scene A, double-click on the short, bright A clip's name, but not on its clip launch button. The clip's contents are now displayed in Live's clip view. Short, bright A is an audio clip. Audio clips play sound, which has been saved in a sample file. Live offers lots of interesting options for manipulating samples while they play. As an example, let's see how easy it is to transpose this clip down by a fifth. A clip's sample box features several controls which affect the playback of the clip's sample. 
While the clip is playing, click once on the transpose knob and type minus seven. Then hit the enter or return key on your computer keyboard. Notice that the tempo of the clip doesn't change as we transpose it. Live treats audio with the same kind of flexibility as MIDI data, allowing you real-time, independent control of pitch and tempo for every clip in your set. Now click on the Drums A clip from the A scene. Again, the clip's contents are shown in the clip view. The drum clip is a MIDI clip. It doesn't produce any sounds of its own, but instead contains MIDI notes, which tell a software instrument what to play. To see the instrument on this track, press Shift-Tab to switch to track view. This track contains two of Live's built-in devices, a drum rack instrument and a beat repeat effect. The drum rack provides a familiar pad layout for our percussion samples, while the beat repeat effect adds variety to our groove by creating semi-random variations of the drum rack's audio output. We can toggle back and forth between track view and clip view at any time by pressing Shift-Tab again. You've now had an introduction to live session and arrangement views, and have a sense of how clips and tracks work. Now let's look at how a session view jam naturally evolves into a finished composition by recording your actions into a new arrangement. We're starting with a new set that contains exactly the same session view material, but has nothing in the arrangement. We're going to make our own. First, stop playback for all clips in the session view by pressing the Stop All Clips button. Then, reset the arrangement position to 1.1.1 by pressing the control bar Stop button twice. Now, press the control bar's Record button. Recording will now begin when any clip or scene is launched. Live will keep a precise log of each clip and scene launched, every mixer and effect control changed, and even changes to tempo. We'll now improvise with our material by clicking various clips and scenes. After recording for a while, click the Stop button. Press the Tab key on your computer keyboard to switch to Live's Arrangement View, where we began this movie. You can see your recording here laid out as an arrangement of horizontal clips. Reset the arrangement position to 1.1.1 again, then hit the spacebar to have Live play back your performance. Live builds bridges from improvisation to composition and back. It certainly pays to understand the underlying concepts, as laid out in the reference manual's Live Concepts chapter. Also, we recommend watching the additional movies and going through the lessons. In particular, the Tour of Live lesson corresponds directly to this movie, so you can get a hands-on look at the concepts we've discussed at your own pace. 